fancy a piece of cheese? How about some mimolette? Well, if you want a taste of this French delicacy, you'd better hurry. Shipments have been detained by U.S. Customs for months now, and supplies across the country are dwindling. It's good. When we run out, we have really run out. And not only because we have run out, but because the country has run out. So I won't stop carrying mimolette until I cannot get it anymore. A mighty problem for shopkeepers like Jill caused by an itty bitty bug. Mites are crucial to the aging process and give the mimolette a distinctive rind. They're easily brushed off before consumption, but officials say the levels in the latest batch were too high and could cause allergies. For cheese experts like Kelly, it's a big fuss over a tiny nuisance. I think it's a little bit silly to be uh, you know, polite about it. Um, it is unfortunate. Uh, mites and you know, <laughs> bugs are natural to our environment. They're absolutely essential for the cheese making process. So essential, in fact, cheese lovers are fighting back. From free samples in stores. So here's the meme here. Okay, excellent cheese. I love it. <laughs> to a popular Facebook page. And yes, even a Twitter hashtag. Everything goes to save the mimolette, and the work, it seems, yes. is paying off. Anything for cheese <laughs> and wine. <laughs> Since the, um, the public has become really aware of this issue and really excited by this issue, we have tons of people coming in asking for samples, asking to try and taste it. And of course, it's delicious, you know, so they take it home with them. Mimolettes may not be banned per se, but with nothing being allowed into the U.S., its American future remains uncertain. <laughs> Jill says she'll run out in about a month and plans to go out in style with a consume the last piece party before bidding the cheese au revoir.